What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to convert any mesh to use cloth physics, alright, how to make it look like actually some piece of cloth uh, using the chaos physics inside Unreal Engine 5. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is basically open up Blender and I'm going to basically make the quick plane on here, which will convert many vertices so we can actually move it around. So I will explain it in a second, but let me just go here and add a plane. And let me just increase the scale basically to use around 5, 5 and 5. Alright, so basically you're wondering, okay, why I'm in here in Blender. It is just because this plane, uh, also if we had it created in uh, Unreal Engine, it just wouldn't have enough vertices to be able to just simulate some cloth uh, physics and basically bend around and stuff. So that's why I'm here in Blender. So basically I'm just going to add the plane, uh, you know, just change the scale, uh, go to edit mode, uh, select everything with Ctrl A, just set Ctrl R to add some loops. So now I can just uh, hover until a part and see a line and just uh, increase it, uh, the number of loops uh, with the middle mouse. And the more, the more, um, you know, fidelity is going to have and the more uh, better it's going to look. So once we have it, we can just right click, sorry, left click, we'll have more. And then we can just uh, control R again and do it in the other place. And then there we go. So now we can go back into object mode on here. And now this will actually contain a lot of vertices so it can bend actually better. All right. Um, you can, of course, use any mesh, but I'm going to use this one for now. So now we can just go up in here into file and say export as an FBX. So then you just go ahead and just uh, find a cool place to save it. And we can basically leave all this by default, right? So don't um, touch anything of this and just find a place that you want to save it. And then just go ahead and rename it. I'm just going to say, for example, uh, cloth uh, plane used to basically have name, but of course you can use whatever you want. And then you can search uh, on click uh, export FBX. So now when it has actually exported, I can just go into Unreal Engine. And now let me go ahead and import it real quick. So basically what we can do is just right click and say uh, import. And then we can find our cloth plane that we uh, went ahead and created. So now we can double click and actually import it. Now it is very important that we go ahead and create a skeletal mesh. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just going to reset to default um, to make sure that you know, uh, also import animations is disabled and things like that. But yeah, just uh, if you had reset it to default and just make sure that you have a skeleton mesh imported, then you can just say import and it will actually start to import correctly. So we can just wait a second. Uh, we'll just have an error saying no smoothing rub, whatever. It always disappears, right? So then uh, struggle with that. And now just control shift S so we can make sure that uh, everything is saved. All right, so now we have two, uh, three things, right? We have the skeleton mesh, the physics asset, and the skeleton itself. So what we're going to use right now is the skeleton mesh. So basically, go ahead and double click to open it. And now we can see that we have it on here. So uh, we see that we have our plane, and basically um, it, lo it looks basically how we exported it. Of course, it's <laughs> just a normal plane. So now what we can do is just click on here, and what we are going to do is just right click, and you're gonna see that we have a crate clothing data from selection so in section sorry so basically we can leave, uh, leave everything as default and you can see that we need to make sure that the physics asset is the one that uh, you know came when we ported it on the uh, plane right so we can see that it already has selected the, uh, the correct one so you say create all right, so now that the uh, clothing data has been actually created, what we can do is say here, activate cloth paint, and it will open a new tab. We can just put it over here. So there we go. And basically what we can do right now is just select uh, the clothing data in here, and you can see that we actually can paint. Now, there's uh, two important things to know here. First of all, we have the paint value, which 100 will be fully uh, a cloth asset. So if I were to paint right now, the part that we'll be painting will be uh, with physics. And on zero, that is uh, how it currently is. Um, you know, in, in this color, like in pink, it will be just static mesh. So let's increase this to 100. We can uh, change the uh, brush radius, strength, follow, etc. And it's gonna leave like default. And then if I go ahead and paint 
all this side, you can see that I'm painting on a uh, paint value of 100 and it is actually painting on this color. So if now I were to deactivate the cloth paint, right click and then say apply clothing data into the plane, you can see that we have the plane simulation actually being applied on here. You can see how it is moving. It's really, really cool, guys. You can play uh, around how you want. So I can go back into the paint here and I can go ahead and move and then start painting even more. And if you want to, you know, undo, you can just go into paint value, put it into zero, and then you can paint again. Uh, but anyway, um, I will go ahead and just put it to 100 and I can start painting everything and basically in the shade that I would want. So for example, if you were making a cape, even though this would not look good for a cape, uh, anyway, uh, you would just leave a part where it will be a static mesh, and then the rest of the part will be you know, physical, and then you can deactivate it. And you can see how the glow thing uh, is now affected, except this part over here. Now, the more vertices that you add in Blender, or whatever other, um, 3d software you're using the better is gonna look of course but now we can just go and save this so now if i would just were to then you know, drag it into the scene there we go and then i would uh, for example simulate you will see that it actually is applying all the uh, physics into it so it is looking really 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 cool so i can stop the simulation right here and i can delete that's pretty much it, but I'm going to do one more thing as basically add it into the uh, character uh, blueprint just to show you that you can also integrate it into your you know character to make a cape or clothing and stuff, you know, whatever you like. So if I were to go here into the viewport uh, and just, just ignore this guy anyway, I'm gonna uh, make it invisible, it just was for another tutorial, but anyway, uh, I can just go here, uh, control space to open the uh, tab. And I can close and then just drag my cold paint on here and you can see that it is here of course it is absolutely uh, huge but you can go ahead and kind of um, change the scale into whatever you of course this is right now huge and whatever but you can see how the clothing is being actually applied and it looks really really cool of course it's so messed up because I changed the scale and just put in real quick but if you actually were to do it right um, you can really have really cool uh, clothing simulations uh, running. So yeah, that was it guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, if you could leave a comment saying uh, what other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials you want to see in the future, uh, I would really appreciate it too. I have many Unreal Engine 5 tutorials on my channel, so if you want to check it out, you're totally welcome. And with all that said, bye bye.